Recent advancements in space have meant that astronomers are now able to pick up on small objects. NASA have said there's around 3,000 human-made satellites in working order around the Earth. However, if the debris of old and damaged satellites are taken into account, the number increases dramatically. Astronauts have reported that every so often they'll see fast objects fly past the International Space Station. Most of these can be explained and they turn out to be normal space debris. However, this isn't always the case. Going back in 2010, astronomers picked up on a mysterious object, and it was soon realised by the researchers that they were dealing with something strange. The astronauts described the object as being small, and that it was travelling fast. The unidentified object passed by our planet on the 21st of May 2010, and in regards to distance it came relatively close to our planet. The researchers estimated it was around 235,000 miles or 384,000 kilometres from our planet. It was then observed slowing down and passing by Earth. After researchers were able to lock onto the object, they could calculate its path through space. One thing they picked up on though is how it wasn't acting like an asteroid, and that after taking photographs and analysing them, the mystery object was only around the size of a bus. Scientists picked up on the fact that before it came close to our planet, it could be seen orbiting the sun. Paul Kodos, a scientist at NASA's Near Earth Object Program said the following, The orbit of this object is very similar to that of the Earth, and one wouldn't expect an object to remain in this type of orbit for very long. It's not known what the object is, but some theories have been put forward and state that the object was actually a piece of space junk. Researchers have said though this isn't the last time we'll see this object, saying it's likely to make a return in 2036. There's also no worry of this object causing any damage to our planet. It's far too small and would burn up upon re-entry. Paul Kodos went on to say the following, there is a 6% probability that 2010 KQ will enter our atmosphere over a 30 year period starting in 2036. More than likely additional observations of the object will refine its orbit, and impact possibilities. Even in the likely event that this object is heading for an impact with Earth, whether it's an asteroid or a rocket body, it's so small that it would disintegrate in the atmosphere and not cause harm on the ground. It's important that astronomers conduct further research on these objects when they're first picked up on. Detecting a celestial body early on is essential to understanding what its behaviour is like. For example, back in 2018, we saw more than 91 near-miss hits of different asteroids of all sizes, with each one passing by our fragile blue planet. The scary thing is that out of the 91 asteroids that passed by us, only 30 of these asteroids were seen coming prior to their passing, and only two of those were discovered one year ahead of the near-miss event. This meant that for more than 89 of the asteroids nearly striking the Earth in 2018, only two of them could have been prevented with our current technology, showcasing just how threatening these large celestial bodies can be. Recently an asteroid by the name of 2019 OK made headlines around the world, this wasn't because of its size, but rather its sudden appearance in our sky. We had no idea it was close to our planet until the day it passed by us. Again, this shows how fragile we really are. Our best scientists and researchers had no idea this object was flying past us until the last minute, and at this point it could have been too late. This object is estimated to be 57 to 130 meters in diameter or 187 to 426 feet. Interestingly, it's the closest an asteroid came to planet Earth in 2019. It came within 62,000 miles or 100,000 kilometers of Earth. And although this doesn't sound close, when we're referring to distances in space, this is pretty close. Another mysterious object was again spotted orbiting our planet a while back. Online sources announced that our planet could have an artificial satellite orbiting around it, and when this was announced it caused quite a bit of speculation as to what it could be. 
Interestingly, this object looks similar to an empty bag. It's been theorised that the object in question is a leftover piece of junk from previous space missions, but at the moment astronomers are unsure. The object was first picked up by scientists while scanning the skies for near-Earth objects. It was picked up by the asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System. This is a robotic system that tells astronomers about near-Earth objects before they collide with our planet. Over the years the system has detected many objects since first being implemented, and the project has even received NASA funding which has helped to add two additional telescopes in the Southern Hemisphere. These additional telescopes will help scientists to scan the skies and get quicker updates about near-Earth objects. This particular object caught the attention of astronomers because of its size. Although it may seem pointless doing research on this object, it's important for the scientists to understand what the object is. One of the first things they picked up on was that it's extremely lightweight, and has a high area to mass ratio. As mentioned, the researchers have said the most likely candidate is that of a leftover rocket launch, but this isn't fact, and researchers are still studying the object. One thing they found interesting is that of its orbit. When objects such as rocket engines are picked up on, they can be seen much closer to Earth, whereas this is much further out. A study in 2013 said there's over 170 million bits of debris outside of our Earth, and that these are smaller than one centimeter. There's over 670,000 pieces of debris between one and 10 centimeters, and around 29,000 larger pieces were estimated to be in orbit around the Earth. It's important to note that these objects will fall back to Earth sometime in the future, so the likelihood is that this object is one of those pieces. Every year, scientists and researchers do a fantastic job at making new discoveries, and with space being so vast, many more will be made in the coming years. One interesting story that made the news recently was that our sun once had a twin. Our sun lies at the heart of our solar system and it's no secret it's massive. Scientists have figured out that our sun is around 110 times the diameter of the Earth. This means that over 1 million Earths could fit inside the sun. The outside of the sun is over 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit. However, that's nothing compared to the core which can reach more than 27 million degrees Fahrenheit. NASA have said that to match the energy the sun produces, you would have to set off 100 billion tons of dynamite every second. Researchers have come forward and said that when our sun was born 4.5 million years ago, it had a twin. However, this twin sun was not identical. The Harvard scientists have said this was the same with every other star in our universe. It has in fact been proven that many stars do have companions. Astronomers have now focused on trying to understand whether the binary and triple star systems are born that way. Astronomers have been searching for the Sun's twin. This star goes by the name of Nemesis. It's even been suggested that Nemesis is the reason behind the KT extinction, one of the largest mass extinction events to happen on our planet, and it's also become known as the Dive of the Dinosaurs. It's been theorized that Nemesis pushed an asteroid into the orbit of the Earth. A research astronomer from UC Berkeley said the following, There probably was a Nemesis a long time ago. We have searched and tried to find out where this star resides. The system where this star would be is either broke apart or shrank. This other sun, however, wouldn't have been near the current one. It's thought that at one point in time it could have been over 800 million miles away from Earth. An idea that's been presented by scientists is that this sun most likely escaped and then mixed with other stars, and this would have been somewhere in the Milky Way's region. As mentioned, this isn't science fiction either. Other researchers have come forward and said this is not the first time that the idea that stars form with a companion has been suggested. Researchers are still looking at this theory and they state they will look at the origins of binary and multiple star systems. However, although this theory does have its supporters, there are those that don't believe in the nemesis theory. Some researchers have come forward and said that after studying the data it doesn't back up the nemesis claim. 
Regardless, studies are still happening to try and prove the existence of this hypothetical star. So what do you guys make of these mysterious objects? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below, and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.